<clears throat> so this trip is um, Chicago, Vegas, Vegas, Omaha. And we just landed in Vegas. They swapped our plane out. So uh, we hurried through the crazy Vegas airport. And when we got down to the plane, our ops agent said, this plane is on a lock right now. It's not going anywhere. There's two planes grounded in Omaha right now, so they're not gonna send another one there with an issue. We are at a standstill. So the captain has called dispatch and he is waiting for a return phone call to see we're supposed to overnight in Omaha. Yeah. So um, yeah. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. I'm telling you guys, this February has kicked our butt. And Captain Roger is on it. This is just one leg into our three day trip. So, get on it, Captain Raj. He's on it. He's All right, the status is we are not going to Omaha. We don't know where we're going. So, we're waiting for the captain to find out and then we'll figure out where we're going to call home tonight. All right. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Poor Alice here lives oh, well, there. That's because I made plans for dinner. Alice lives in Omaha, so she was planning on going <laughs> home, which I feel it's my fault. It's she, when you make I made plans. when you make plans, you get canceled. That's a little flight attendant um, old wives' tale. So Alice lives there, and so she made plans to go have dinner with her husband. So it's all her fault. Let's see. This guy's on it. I knew this was coming. There's talk of them sending us to St. Louis instead. We're supposed to be done in Omaha, so um, they said we're not going. So I'm going to call scheduling as soon as the captain gets word. Did you make plans as well in Omaha? No. She's got coffee though, so it's all good. I'm happy. Liz is happy. Is she making a all right, I want stay some tuned. coffee? I'll bring some back here. I got a big old fat slice of pizza brewing. It's all good. Thank you. Burrito? Good? I didn't know you were on the phone. <laughs> I'm tubing. I'm YouTubing. You're famous. But when we do have a hot minute to eat, we're going to eat. Because we're in for a long day. So they just said the flight to Omaha is canceled. So we're going to board up and we are working now instead to St. Louis. So it's a three and a half hour flight to St. Louis. Once we get there, we're gonna deadhead to Dallas, spend the night in Dallas, and deadhead back here to Vegas in the morning. It's two legs to um, Omaha is now three legs to Dallas. You guys, look at this cute little room. This is the um, Aloft. Is that how you say it? Aloft? Aloft? I've never stayed at one of these before. Um, but, wow. It's like a little apartment. And it's so stinking cute and clean and modern. Uh, we're in Dallas. It's supposed to be in Omaha, but they're having a terrible rain, no, ice and snowstorm. Oh, cute pool down there got rerouted yet again I think I'm three for three or three for I think I'm three for three in February of reroutes and it's okay really tired uh, I'm gonna talk to the family and um, order some room service bags fly free today folks taco truck. We're hungry. Food. Food. So there's a, we have a lounge down here. This is one of our bases in Vegas. Clearly in Vegas. We made it. We had a deadhead here. And <clears throat> downstairs outside they have a taco truck. So we're going to go get some food. We're going to get some breakfast. We work in one, we're working one more to Reno. Wish us luck that the taco truck is actually open.
No? What time? Maybe 8.30. Oh. But maybe not so soon. Do you want to play some basketball? Oh my goodness. I just saw your employee number. <laughs> Mike, Mr. Bit. Mike on the right. <laughs> That's new. How new? This is my second month here. Yes. <laughs> Where'd you come from? It's an interview. I was, I was flying a Part 135 charter. Okay. For the King Air. King Air? Yeah. Do you like it here? I do. Before that, I was flying for the regionals for 16 and a half years. Oh, yeah. big difference, right? Pretty much summed it up. Everybody's laid back here, which is nice. So cool, right? <laughs> yeah. Welcome aboard, Mike Thank on the right you. and Mike on the left. Easy, keeping it easy for me today. <laughs> the room jackpot on this trip. We got the suite. Wow. That's a little, that's a little, um, golfing range. Driving, what the heck is that called? Driving range. Look at this. Reno is just absolutely beautiful. It's so pretty. today. We have three legs. Denver, Minneapolis, Chicago. But it's going home day. Hopefully a smooth, uneventful day. We're saying goodbye. It's day three, uneventful day. Yay. The one day that we were planned and we're actually working what we were supposed to work. No drama today, right? Peace out, Keith. <laughs> Peace out, Alice. See ya in Chicago. Well, you guys, this is interesting. We're still in Reno. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. We had a maintenance issue, and we had a full uh, plane of passengers. We sat at the gate for an hour and a half, and um, maintenance could not fix the problem. So obviously, we wanted to be safe, but we went back and forth that we're going to go, no, we're not, we're going to go, no, we're not. Everybody is now off the plane and we are not scheduled to leave Reno for another four hours and 10 minutes. So they are, oh, thank you. Look at these guys, these pilots are amazing. We've had the best um, captain and first officer dealing with this situation, but we're headed back to the hotel because now we have four hours or more of ground time. So um, we have a long, <laughs> Thank you. 12 and a half hour duty day. So we're going to go back to the hotel, get a little bit more rest. We're still scheduled to work the flight to Denver. Um, we were supposed to get in at 3.30 back home to Chicago. It looks like we're not getting home to at least 7.30 now. So we'll see. Going back to the hotel. Anybody follows college basketball? We're following college basketball right now. See, Colorado State Rams. They were on our flight. I don't know where they're going to go, but they're all rescheduled as well. They're supposed to go back to Denver. Yeah, and we'll come back in a couple hours. Okay. So. Cool, that makes me feel a lot better. Yeah. It's, I mean, we're still working it to Denver, but it's yeah. going to be quite a few hours from now. So. Hi, say hi to YouTube. Hi! <laughs> Sorry, guys. We'll see you in a couple of hours, okay? You're YouTube famous. On YouTube, but I still always fly southwest. Yay. Everybody follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, you can follow to 25. Follow this guy on Instagram, and he's going to tell you all about his lucky day of traveling. We'll see you in a couple hours. We're going to go take a power nap. Okay, we Okay, we're going to do this. We're going back to Denver. Oh, this place looks familiar. Feels like we were just here. <laughs> so we got a breakfast buffet. It's getting more expensive. <laughs> it does keep getting more expensive. This is not a cheap overnight. You're right. <laughs> We're back for a couple of hours. <laughs> Just like I left it. Wow.
Oh my gosh, you guys. They kept our same room. <laughs> this is crazy. Thank God I don't leave a mess. Back in our same room, so when we called scheduling and said that we have more than four hours before our plane is scheduled to be fixed, they said, okay, we'll send you back to your hotel. <coughs> and they said, we actually have your room still available, so <laughs> I've come back to um, my same room, dirty room, which is totally fine, but like I said, I'm glad I don't <laughs> keep it a mess. Um, so I'm going to take a little power nap. Actually, we decided we might uh, go have breakfast. The pilots decided to stay at the airport, and we have their phone numbers. We all exchange numbers. We also are required to stay close to our phones and keep an eye on our schedule. If the plane gets fixed earlier, we're very close to the airport, and we'll just hop right back on. But we're going to have breakfast. This is nuts. The date, this is crazy, day three. Um, sometimes we'll have a reroute in a crazy day on day one or like day two. I don't know if I've ever had it on the first and the last day. So we just said, we all said, all right, we'll go for breakfast, but we need to like take five minutes to just kind of debrief on our own. Because like I said, we were supposed to be in at 3.30. We won't get in until 7.30 now. Um, and it's just going to be interesting. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Well, this place is starting to look awfully familiar. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder if I should just leave my jacket and my uniform on. I've never had this happen before. It is now, it's almost noon, and six hours ago, a little bit more than six hours ago is when we were supposed to leave. We've now come back to our hotel. Um, this is the third time coming into our room. <laughs> Luckily, the front desk is being awesome. They've held our rooms. So They're telling housekeeping to just leave us be at this point. Um, we went all the way back to the airport but never got off the shuttle. Okay, our shuttle driver didn't even take our van tip. He was like, no, 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 it's okay, I'll see you later. I mean, he's probably made like 12 bucks off of us already. <laughs> so it's bad when your shuttle driver is like, I'll see you in a, in a couple hours, just save your dollar. I don't know. They told us to call in an hour. Uh, so we'll check in with scheduling in an hour. They said they're going to either ferry a plane to come get us or cancel the flight. I mean, I don't know what else we can do at this point. So we are just going to sit by and wait and... Um, Maybe have a third meal here at this hotel. It's a great one to be stuck at. I do love Reno, but... <laughs> I feel bad laughing, but I don't know what else to do at this point. We were, we were all kind of a little slap happy. We don't know if we're tired, if we're wide awake because of all the coffee. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned. Well, this is a very unforgiving light this morning. But good morning. It is day four. I'm supposed to be home yesterday. We're in Denver. It is 4.20 in the morning and we get to deadhead home. This would be the trip to show you what it's really like. Really. I mean, you guys, this month is crazy. Two stranded overnights in one week. You wanna fly, really? You wanna miss birthdays and after school activities and parties, barbecues. You wanna miss all that and spend time in your hotel in um, airports? This is what it's really like. I still love the job, I'm not complaining, but just heads up, you miss a lot of stuff. I haven't seen my kids in four days. Uh, you know, their little hearts are broken and um, they miss their mom and I miss them. It's part of the job, you guys. Think about it.
Ellis just said this is the trip that never ends. We're in, we're out of uniform. We're gonna deadhead home because they're done with us. We're done. We're out of uniform and comfy. Day seven. Day seven. <laughs> <laughs> it's the trip that never ends. Okay guys, I'm gonna wrap it up here. We're in Denver, headed home to Chicago. Uh, day four, um, but before I wrap it up, I just want to say that there's uh, a lot of hiring going on right now, and we're hiring a lot, other airlines are hiring a lot, and um, really keep in mind, this is a fantastic job. Um, over the years, I've been doing this for almost 12, this was one of the craziest trips that I've had, um, but it was, it was fine, and we really, we didn't work that much. But we're exhausted because the mental um, strain of the job, you know, not being home, stressing about missing flights, stressing about the passengers um, being delayed and stuff. So keep that in mind. You miss birthdays, you miss school events, you miss, you just miss being home with your family. Um, you have to have a good support system at home. If you're single, you're golden. This is a great job. If you are um, married or you have a partner or you're in a relationship, even just dating somebody, Having somebody understand what this job um, sometimes can be is so important. I couldn't do this job with two kids um, if my husband was not fantastic. I don't worry about, I mean, I, I miss the kids and I miss being home <clears throat> a lot, but I don't worry about not being there. I mean, you know what I mean, you guys. You just need to have somebody that is like, I get it, I understand, just stay safe, get some rest. Um, so, yes, it's a fantastic job. Yes, it's so fun. Please keep in mind that it's not always what it's cracked up to be. And you're, you need to like airports. You need to like um, hotels. <laughs> you need to like people. You need to keep your calm. Um, just keep that in mind. Thank you for joining me on another trip. So this is two stranded trips in one week. Uh, stay tuned. If you like this, subscribe and you want to see another trip, let me know. If there's a city you want to see, let me know. I'll try to get there for you. But um, subscribe and like and I'll see you on the next trip, you guys. It's been fun. Bye.